Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for September, well, September 17th through the 23rd. It is one day late. We're going to go ahead and take that card, whatever falls out. Um, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Um, if this reading is confusing to you, then it's not for you. Okay, it's that simple. If it's if you're confused by it, if it confuses you, then don't. Don't even try, okay? Ooh, you have a love, don't you, Libra? You guys are putting in effort, probably to romance, to new love, perhaps. There's an unexpected lover, perhaps, somebody that is not your usual type. Seduction. Now we have some contradictions as usual. Okay, so you guys may have decided to break free of something. You have broken free and you have a new opportunity for love. Congratulations. It's beautiful. <laughs> it really is. This right here is not, you have, you've given up. You've given up on something. You're not putting in effort into something that was a lie. It looks like you've given up on that lie. And now you're putting in effort and working on a new connection. And that's what it looks like to me. I think you guys have a new connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just want to be happy. Yeah, your justice is being served. Congratulations. It looks like Something good is happening for you because you guys have made something final. You have regained some balance in your life. It's like everything is going to be working out in your favor. And you know, I just happened to notice this feather in this justice card. A feather is a message from heaven. So perhaps heaven is bringing you together with somebody that you are better suited for and maybe heaven has helped you. I'm getting the goosebumps like mad. Heaven has helped you to release. They have. They've helped you to release because you deserve to be treated fairly. You deserve to be loved. You deserve happiness. You do. This is not needing to prove yourself, not needing to, to be defeated. No. I just want to be happy. And I feel like because you guys have made a decision to be happy... It's here. It's here. There's an op there's there's love here. There's a there's a new connection and this is a new connection because the lovers card to me when it comes out in a reading it's when you thought that somebody was the one. You thought that the wrong one was the wrong one and that, and now you realize that that wrong one really wasn't the one and you have somebody else. That's what the lovers card means to me. That there's somebody else than than who you were hanging on to. Ooh. Now, look at the, like I said, contradictions as usual. These two are contradictions. These two are contradictions. Okay? Let me just get one more. Or two more. You guys are taking action, though, to balance out the scales. So, congratulations. It's like, there's no more thinking about this. I am moving forward. I'm moving forward out of this one-sided situation that I have hung on to. You guys have. You guys are moving forward. And it feels as though you weren't getting what you deserved for a very long time. Could it be six years? Six months? Whatever this is, you guys have been not being appreciated. No appreciation, no appreciation, no appreciation. You are dealing with somebody who didn't appreciate you. And now I think there's a new opportunity that has been offered to you and you, you may have rejected this offer for quite some time but it feels like now you're ready to move forward that's what it looks like it looks like you guys are taking the passion into your own hands and you are going for it congratulations your hard work has paid off the time is now for you to receive this union that you deserve after a, a serious rejection a blow you guys had a serious blow. 
you did. You went through a, a you know a shock of some sort, and and now I think that you guys have removed this. You've broken free. You've broke those chains. You have, and now things are coming around in your favor. Congratulations! I love it. Yep, you guys have taken back your power. Coming out of hiding. Accepting the truth. Listening. Allowing what's meant to be to unfold. You guys have the power. You have manifested this new connection. You have. Now, this right here is being willing to shed the old. The magician is willing to shed the old and you have you guys have you have you have taken this into your own hands and I see that you have shed and now you're bringing success into your life because you've taken action this is a magician takes action and this is action I think that you guys have taken action to go within to listen and to allow I mean look at her I allow I surrender I surrender and I think you have I think that you have surrendered. They both have their hands open. You guys have surrendered and now you, I mean both of them, you have. It's like you guys have, have called in a soulmate. Is it the one that you thought it was? No, it's not. The one that you thought it was is being released. That was going nowhere. That wasn't destined. It wasn't destiny. That whoever it was that you were hanging on to was bringing you backwards. It was bad luck. It was bad karma. And now because you have found the strength to free yourself, to break the chains, they're going to give you what you deserve. No going. No more. No more going backwards. Oh, the fucking contradictions. Excuse my language, but my goodness. This is being turned upside down. Maybe this new love has turned your life upside down. You're like, I don't even know where this came from. Maybe you've made some poor decisions in the past in regards to love, and so you're, you're afraid to keep walking in, this, in the direction of what your intuition is telling you to do. But you have received a lot of clarity. There's a lot of truth here and power. The power is in your hands, Libra. You have the power at this time. And you're seeing things clearly. There, there you are. You are absolutely seeing things clearly. But you may not have completely healed. You may not have completely healed. You may be feeling a little, little bit of sadness still. You may be thinking a little bit negative about this new connection. Letting negativity affect you. Stop looking back. Stop. Please don't. Don't look at what brought you down anymore. See behind him? He's got the new beginning, the ace of wands in his hand. Please stop looking back. Look at, Stop looking back at that closed door. Because there's a new passionate opportunity in which you should be thinking positive. Please think positive. A new perspective, new outlook. Let go of the negative thinking. Let go of the negative thoughts. Let go of the worry. The power is in your hands. You seriously are in control. You know, I see this third eye. Your third eye is open. Your third eye is open, Libra. It is. With It is. With the Empress. I mean, the. Uh, and I don't even need the Empress, but it came out for a reason. The High Priestess and the this. And Justice. And I just said the Empress. And you do represent the Empress. So I feel as though you you have awakened. To the truth. 
There's still a little bit of mental turmoil though. Now, okay, we got these two swords in the front. Take that mask off. Completely rip that off. Get out of your head. Get out of your thoughts. Free yourself completely. Completely, completely, completely. Untie yourself from the toxic situation that you have held on to and do not bring it into this new love connection. The Two of Swords is inability to accept the truth. I feel like you guys are accepting the truth but there is still some sort of tie to the past that needs to be seriously cut use that sword to cut to cut it 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 because you're getting love somebody somebody is offering you love it could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio it could be anybody it could be a fire sign it could be another air sign The only one I don't see here is Earth. This is a Capricorn, but this is a this is a demon. This is this is a an energy that needs to be cut. You have a new offer of love. Somebody has a love. Somebody is offering you love. They are. And you're being called to move forward with it. Go for it. Just go for it. There's no time to waste. Stop thinking about going back to where you came from. Close that door for good. Don't restrict yourself from this offer of love. Somebody is really, really, really into you. Big time. Big time, big time, big time. So I feel like this is a week where you have to continue or you have to not, you have to allow this new beginning. This is the death reversed, okay? Stop holding on to the past and allow this new love to grow. There's, there's love here. This person that is in your life is not your usual type. It's not who you expected. Um... And they're very, very into you. <laughs> they are very, very into you. They have, they have, they think that you're very, very attractive. They think that you have a lot to offer. And I think that you guys are probably Hopefully you're not denying it because of the past hurt. I just happened to cut the deck. There's a love connection here. Somebody wants to have a relationship with you. But you're still hurting from the past. Please let it go. Oh my gosh. Remember the contradictions we've seen in this reading? There's lots of contradictions. And, and that's the balancing act. That's the balancing act that you're doing. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Remove yourself from this toxic situation once and up for all. So you can get what you deserve. Because there's an offer that is here. Could be from a Gemini. Okay, we have Gemini here, Gemini here. You, you have an offer that is very... Emotionally supportive. This person is offering you something very, very caring. It could be any, any sign. But you have to allow yourself to open your heart to this union. This suitor is very, very well suited for you. 
There could, there's a lot of, there's room for growth. It's very exciting. They're a really good match. But you're, you're afraid. You're afraid. You're afraid to allow this new relationship to start. Because perhaps a Taurus Virgo Capricorn is involved. I don't know. But it's time to be practical. It's time to be wise. It's time to be mature. It's time to be responsible. It's time to get grounded. Come back down to reality. Because this person, there's no growth with somebody. With one situation, there's no real romance. It's not real. And you may be lying to yourself about it. Somebody is, is hanging on to somebody. I think they may be hanging on to, I don't know, could be an earth sign, could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, could be anybody. Somebody is lying to themselves and confused about an illusion, a fantasy. When they have a new offer of love, like begging them for attention. So... I just cut the deck again, Nine of Swords. You need to let go of your worries. You need to let go of your anxiety. If you're losing sleep over somebody and they're not in your life and they're hurting you, then they aren't the one for you. You need to break those chains and allow this new connection to, to develop. So I feel like you are receiving messages of love. They're genuine. Somebody wants to have a relationship with you. They're very, very attracted to you. And I think that you're attracted to them too. But you're holding on to a situation that is toxic and going nowhere. And so that's where the balancing act comes in. I feel like you guys are making in the process of making a decision to finalize this and cut the chains and, you know, break the chains. But there's that teeter-totter, you know, kind of thing where... You're, you're really afraid to let this new love blossom for the hope. You know, you still have the hope that this thing is going to turn around over here, which it's not going to turn around because that cycle in your life is over. You deserve more than that. So I feel like there's an opportunity for new love here, Libra, if you want it. This person, the new one, the new love is very, very well suited for you. Somebody that is a great suitor. It's probably a water sign or a fire sign. But I do see that you're you don't you're in denial over something. You have you have a cho you have two options. Do you I mean you do? You have two options here. That's what the lover's card really is. Do you stay stuck in the past or do you move forward? Same kind of thing. Because you have two options. One of them is the one that you think is the one. And the other one that is actually the one but you don't think is the one. I mean, that's what this is. So there's consequences. This is a card of consequences. There's consequences for the decisions that you make. If you stay stuck on somebody that is lying to you and confusing you and is an illusion, then you lose out on true love. So anyway, there's an opportunity for love. Libra, somebody sees your worth. They are offering you something. Go for it. It's what you deserve. This new opportunity, this new connection is what you deserve. Rainbow blessings. Beautiful. Blessings are showering your life. Blessings in all forms are cascading into your life. Just as the rainbow has all the colors of the spectrum, so is every hue of your life blessed. This is a great time to start a project, initiate a relationship, purchase a house, begin a health program, start a new job, or change careers. Let go of hesitations and concerns. Whatever your dream for the future, this is the time to start. You will succeed. When the rainbow appears in the sky above, have faith that blessings are abounding. Count your blessings. Be grateful for ones received and know that many lie ahead of you. 
In the deepest sense, you are the blessing. In many ways, the rainbow is a messenger from their creator, letting you know that all is well. This card can also indicate that it's time to add some color to your life. Paint a room, change the colors of your curtains, or simply spice up your life. The time is now for you to get what you deserve. You know, sixes are the journey to peace and harmony. It's time for you to have that peace and harmony, okay? And with the justice, it is in your life that you deserve. Allow it. Let go of the hesitations. That's my message.